right, welcome to the Gospel Road. I hope you're uh, having a good day. Hope you had a good week. Hope you're having a good weekend. All depending on when you're listening to this. I mean, you might end up listening to this during the week. Anyway, we're going to look at Proverbs 11 today. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But when, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless keep his way straight, but the wicked falls by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright delivers them, but the treacherous are taken captive by their lusts. When the wicked dies, his hope will perish, and the expectation of wealth perishes too. The righteous is delivered from trouble, and the wicked walks into it instead. With my mouth, the godless man would destroy his neighbor, but by knowledge, the righteous are delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there are shouts of gladness. By the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted. By the mouth of the wicked, it is overthrown. Whoever belittles his neighbor lacks sense, but a man of understanding remains silent. Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy is in spirit keeps a thing covered. Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. Whoever puts up security for a stranger will surely suffer harm, but he who hates striking hands and pledge is secure. A gracious woman gets honor, a violent man gets riches. A man who is kind benefits himself, but a cruel man hurts himself. The wicked earns deceptive wages, but one who sows righteousness gets a sure reward. Whoever is steadfast is righteous in righteousness will live, but he who pursues evil will die. Those who are crooked heart of crooked heart are an abomination to the Lord, but those of blameless ways are his delight. Be assured an evil person will not go unpunished, but the offspring of the righteous will be delivered. Like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman without discretion. The desire of the righteous ends only in good the expectation of the wicked in wrath one gives freely yet grows all the richer another withholds what he should give and only suffers want whoever brings blessing will be enriched and one who waters himself be watered The people curse him who holds back grain, but a blessing is on the head of him who sells it. Whoever diligently seeks good seeks favor, but evil comes to him who searches for it. Whoever trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like a green leaf. Whoever troubles his own head will inherit the wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and whoever captures souls is wise. If the righteous is repaid on earth, how much more the wicked and the sinner? Proverbs 11. Very good quotes Wisdom, things to share. One of those focuses today is when pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with the humble is wisdom. Do you know that people that do seem to get very prideful, conceited, you know, really think highly of themselves. They seem to somehow get disgraced. 
in one way or another. Now, it doesn't always happen, but I've seen it happen. Sometimes we see it even at work. And unfortunately, when sometimes you see it at work, they they seem to never get the disgrace, at least not publicly, maybe at work. But then it makes it very hard to deal with them. Sometimes you see that even with families when you're going to your holidays and your get-togethers and gatherings or even people at church or wherever you go. How are you living your life? I mean, are you living it very prideful about what you do, about what you have? Or are you being really humble? I've seen some that act humble, but are very full of pride. Have you seen that? They talk and act like they are a servant. But when you observe them, that's not the story that they live it's kind of the talking out of both sides of your mouth a lot of people do that need to be careful with that it's not something that you know we want to do or should do so yeah we just need to be very we need to be very cautious we need to be very careful How are we helping each other be the best that we can be? How are you working on yourself so you can be the best that you can be? It's a very strong question. But we need to be aware of it and think about what we're doing. You know, you read through Proverbs and you feel like you're reading fortune cookies. (laughs) You really do. But they're real important things that can help us as we are doing the best that we can. I was, uh, I saw a a post yesterday and I might get this a little wrong because I I saw it. I should have wrote it down or saved it, but I didn't. But it was saying how I would rather be in a church full of those, uh, of people that need help. You know, those that love God and need help. You know, those that love God but are not perfect. You know, rather than in a church full of righteous people that are tearing down those that need help was something to that effect. I can't remember it exactly, but it was really good. But see, that's the truth. That's where we are. That's what we see, at least I see almost every day. You you, you, you see these people talking about how they are good people, how they're good Christians, and all they're doing is tearing others down. And let's not even say they're a Christian. They're just saying that they're a good person. But through that, they're they're not trying to help others be better. They're trying to completely rip them down and kick them in the gut while they're down. That's not a good person. That's not a good Christian. See, it's lifting them up and helping them be the best that they can be. To, to be that best worker that they can be. To be the best parent. To be the best friend that they can be. Now, some people don't always get it when you're trying to help them with that information because some people, you try to help them and they don't want to listen because you can't tell them what to do because they think they already know everything or they're only going to listen from certain people. And a lot of that is because of the past, what they've been through. We've seen it with women who seem to not want to take direction from men because they have passed a very torted past because of 
or relationships that have happened or that were very bad, that treated them very poorly. And because of that, their relationship just daily with men, it doesn't work. They can't have that conversation. But sometimes it even turns to when they've had those bad relationships, they seem to become very strong because they want control when they're not at home. So they try to hold control in everything else in their life. So they are not really listening to anyone. If they are listening, they act like they're listening because whatever they're being told isn't sticking in their head. Now we see the same thing with men, but sometimes with men it's more of the pride, you know, being conceited. You know, they only listen to other men, they won't listen to women. You know, that's that whole age old issue through history. So you have a woman supervisor and you just gripe and moan about it. You have a minority supervisor and you just gripe and moan about it. I mean, unfortunately, we see it. Now, unfortunately, we also see a person that gets into a supervisor position. I don't care who you are and you're not qualified for that. So you're in a position that you're not able to do the best that you can to help others be the best that they can because you you have no clue what you're even doing. That's bad too because that brings down morale in your department or at the company. And then nobody wants to do anything and all you see is a bunch of heads or you know butting together. All of a sudden you're just a bunch of goats. Just button heads. Because there's no leadership. And without leadership, there's nothing. Or you have everyone trying to be a leader and with Everyone being a leader, there is no leader, which I know I've shared that before. Proverbs 11, read that today. How does it help you be better tomorrow than today? Being better today than yesterday. I mean, that's our goal, to be the best that we can be. So we can help others be the best that they can be. Read that today, Proverbs 11. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this, you can share it on social media as well as finding me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube at my buddy Jimmy, mybuddyjimmy.com as well. And see all the other things that I share from memes and jokes and quotes to my words of the day on different things. So a lot of stuff to get shared every day. Again, I share a lot. I don't see a lot. (laughs) <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to social media too much no, it's just way too busy like for me this past week really crazy as we uh, went through fundraiser week so I'm still kind of tired maybe I should be taping a nap I don't know <laughs> also you can be sure to give a rating on whatever platform you are listening and appreciate that so much too thank you for listening to the gospel road have a great day God bless Spinal adjustments provided by Dr. Chad Rolfson. The Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center is a Des Moines area low flat fee per month unlimited chiropractic care practice. When life happens, just adjust. Schedule today at SpinalTuning.com. Barbecue provided by Kenny's Rib Wagon. Catering ribs for your pleasure and serving daily at Plaza Pub, 62nd and Douglas in Des Moines across from Merle Hay Mall. Find Kenny's Rib Wagon on Facebook. If you're looking for help with software, app, web development, be sure to check out my friends at IngenuityCompany.com. They believe in their clients. Software development, app development, web development, visioning, design thinking, diagramming, organizational development, strategy, they can help you at the Ingenuity Company. Find out more at IngenuityCompany.com. The Jimmy Olsen Radio Network.